Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaAndThompson.com, and I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered what the top earners do that makes them easily attract leads and sales and customers into their business, and they do it in the shortest amount of time? Well, pay close attention because in this video, I'm going to share with you four little known success tips that can affect your results. These are the little known success tips that the top earners do day in and day out that give them those results. So get out a pad of paper and a pen and be prepared to take some notes. Now these four little known success tips come from the book The Slight Edge by Jeff Wilson. If you don't have that book, I highly recommend that you go and pick up that book. It is an absolute must for your success library. And if you're stuck right now in your business, maybe you want to um, rank advance and get to that next pay level, or you just want to get more income coming in, this is a book for you. And it's going to give you some mindset principles, four major tips that are really going to help you change your results. So if you don't have this book yet, you can get it on Amazon. It is available both in paperback and Kindle edition. You can see the link here on your screen. I also have it in the video description as well. So all you need to do is click on it and then you can go and pick up your own copy. It is well worth the read. And I read this a lot. And every time I read this book, I get different distinctions. So let's get right to it. Now, The Slight Edge by Jeff Wilson can be summed up as this. The Slight Edge is the ability to do small, easy, simple, and sometimes boring tasks in order to reach your definition of success. So this can be with you having success in your business, whether it's with your personal relationships, whether it is with your uh, with your finances or your health. These four tips are going to help you in no matter what area in your life you choose to pursue and it's going to give you fulfillment. But in this video we're going to be talking about specifically with your business. The first pillar or mindset hack is momentum. Okay, What top earners do is they create momentum and the slight edge gives you momentum. But what you need to understand is that momentum doesn't mean fast. Okay, We demand fast results and yes success likes speed, but faster doesn't always lead to success. You know what's really kind of a sad byproduct of being in this digital age is that we want everything done quickly. And in business it doesn't happen. And a lot of times you might see people coming in and they seem to come out of nowhere and have this massive amount of success where all of a sudden they're, you know, they come in later than you and they wind up making six figures and they're on stage and recognized as a top earner. But what we don't understand is that there's a story behind the story and that they have probably been practicing the slight edge, these little simple daily tasks that they did every single day, day in and day out, that gave them that momentum. You see, what the slight edge teaches you is it helps you find your optimal rate of growth, which are the daily simple action steps compounded over time. Okay, so what are those daily action steps that the top earners do? Number one, they create a piece of content every day. Whether it's a blog post, a Facebook Live, or a podcast, they meet 10 new people every single day. They're constantly growing their network. And the third thing they do is they write to their email list every single day. They are read a minimum of 10 pages a day from a book that is on personal development or business development, and they listen to mindset recordings. Those are the simple daily action steps. They're easy to do and they're easy not to do. In these tasks, you don't see immediate results. That's why you can choose to do it and not do it, but it's compounded over time because over time, you will eventually see the results. They're either gonna work for you or they're gonna work against you. You see, once you're in motion and you have momentum going, it's easier to keep going. 
when you stop, it's harder to get started again. So if you're sitting and you did one blog post at the beginning of the week, and then you don't do it again for a while, it's going to be harder to create more content on a consistent basis. Remember the story of the tortoise and the hare, where slow and steady wins the race? The key word is steady, and that's what leads to success. You see, when you employ these five simple daily action steps that I mentioned to you earlier, when you do them every single day, they become a part of your rhythm and routine, and it becomes part of who you are. And it just becomes natural. And you're going to be able to do them with speed, pleasure, and ease. But you're going to have some growing pains in the beginning. Keep moving forward. Momentum. Remember this quote from Mary Kay Ash. Give yourself something to work, for, to work toward constantly. Always be working on developing those skills. Eventually, when you keep doing this long enough, you're going to get momentum and results are going to go in your favor. Pillar number two, completion. Have you ever had a task that you needed to get done, but you just kept putting it off? Procrastination is what sucks the energy out of your accomplishments, and that's what puts you on the downward side of the slight edge. Okay, so what you need to do is when you're procrastinating, it blocks your momentum. So in your business, start with taking on one incomplete project, no how, matter how big or small it is, and do it. And you will be amazed at the momentum it brings you. So you may want to start with reading just 10 pages a day in a book. And do that and get really good at that and then add on. You see, one of the things here too with completion of tasks is sometimes we put so much on our plate that it literally becomes overwhelming. How do we eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So I recommend that you sit down, find a task, and gradually incorporate. Find a task that you haven't done yet, that you've been putting off, and do it. Start creating that momentum. Completion leads to momentum. Pillar number three, reflection. What the top earners do, and this helps them with the completion of tasks, they keep a journal. And you don't have to go buy an expensive journal. You can go to Walgreens or Walmart and buy a $1 composition book. And in that book, you write down, you write down the date you write down what you're grateful for, three things you're grateful for. You're going to come in and you're going to write down what are your main tasks that you're going to do today. So you write them out. You're going to, you know, are you going to create a Facebook Live today? Are you going to create a blog post? Are you going to do an audio podcast? What are those types of content? What's that one piece of content you're going to create? Writing your email to your list. You're going to meet 10 new people. All right, you're going to write that down. Physically write that down. What what book are you going to read today? What chapter of the book are you going to read? Most books have to, at least a minimum of 10 pages in a chapter. Read a chapter in a book. What mindset recording are you going to listen to today? Does your company do a form of a mindset call or a wake-up call that you can plug into and listen to? That can be counted as part of your daily routine. All right, and then at the end of the day, you want to be reflecting on what you did get done. You see, doing things won't create success. Doing the right things will. So at the end of the day, write down what did you do get done? What content did you create? What book and how many pages did you read? What did you listen to for mindset? Did you meet new ten, 10 new people? Did you spend some time with your family or your spouse? Did you exercise? And then you can go back and take inventory. Two questions that I always ask myself is, what worked well today and what can I do differently next time? What I found when I did this exercise is that I was finding that I wasn't spending enough time with my husband and also meeting uh, new people. I would always run out of time at the end of the day and I'm also working full time at my job as a speech therapist. So what I did is I sat back and thought, where could I get more time? so that I can 
I can do something and, and take advantage of a certain block of time. And what I realized is in the morning, I was spending time, you know, figuring out what I was going to wear, making lunches, and getting breakfast prepped. So what I did is the night before, once I was done with the evening dishes, I got the dishes prepped for the next day. I had, we have a cool rig for our coffee, so I got the coffee pods ready, the coffee mugs there, the dishes ready for what we were going to have for breakfast. I made the lunches the night before, and I laid out my clothes for both myself and my husband the night before. So now when I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is shower, get dressed. That gave me an extra 20 minutes so I can either spend that time with my husband or I can be doing stuff with my business or I can meet new people or I can write an email to my list. And now I have more time in the day at the end of the day to be focusing on some other tasks. If you're having difficulty with this, as far as really being held accountable with your time, I would invest in a coach or an accountability partner. And what that would do is you can sit and they can hold your feet to the fire. You see, investing in a coach is one of the best things you can do for your business, making sure that you are staying on track. Helpful? Let's go to pillar number four. This ties in with pillar number three. This is mind tip number three, which is celebration. You want to celebrate your wins no matter how small they are. So as you're journaling, you want to write down your wins. You know, did you get a lead today? Did you get a customer? Did you read your book today? Did somebody reach out and give you a compliment today? Those are little things you want to write down. Tony Robbins says, as your life is worth worth living, it's worth recording. You should celebrate not only your wins, but the wins of your team. Because that is also very, very powerful. Ken Blanchard of the One Minute Manager says, we should all be engaged in one minute of praising, of catching people doing something right and celebrating their wins. Maybe they rank advanced. Maybe they were invited to speak on stage. Maybe they were a member of the month. They got their first lead, made their first sale, got their first customer, made their first first Facebook Live or blog post, shouted from the rooftops. That's worth celebrating. And see, when you celebrate the success of others, what's going to happen is when it's your turn, you're going to get celebrated as well. It works very powerfully because you need to start, you know, the best way you can get over compare-itis is to be grateful and celebrate the wins of others. Because if you see their success, you can be like, hey, this is possible for me. They're showing me I can do it and my time is coming. So remember, celebrate. Let's do a quick recap of these four mindset tips or pillars. Number one, we want to create momentum. Number two, we want to complete our tasks. Number, no matter how small they are. Number three, we want to record and reflect what we did during the day. Write down the tasks we did and what we will do better next time. And number five, celebrate your wins, no matter how small they are, and celebrate the wins of others. When you do this, your results are going to increase dramatically. Did you find this video helpful today? Leave a comment and share. And if you want to know more a part of being a part of a system that the top earners use that employ these four mindset hacks, these success tips from the slight edge that will help you build your brand so that you can get more leads, reps, and customers into your business with speed, pleasure, and ease. This is the system that I use. What I want you to do right now is go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash recipe. You're going to get the tools, you're going to get the training, and you're going to get the support that will help you be accountable, and we will be there to celebrate your success. So go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash recipe, get the information there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.